Okay, so the last one, I accidentally got started and then my other phone ran out of space, so this is not, this is a new one, so I'm not rewriting everything. Um, basically, what I said was find out the total amount after five years. Right here, daily, semi-annually. Those two terms represent something that's sort of a set interval, like you know how many days there are in a year. Um, Whereas continuously is not something you can count. It's like um, it happens nonstop. So it's not like you can put a number to that. So what we do is for A and B, we're going to use this formula where there's sort of a set interval. And then for C, we're going to use this one. So just note if it says compounded, you have to kind of note what sort of compounding they're talking about. So I've plugged in some numbers here. P is the principal amount or the starting amount. It says you put in two, $2,000 right here. Then it says 1 plus. 0 0.04 is my rate because it said 4%. And if I'm doing part A, daily means 365 times a year. So I put that there. But notice there's two ends. So it's 365 here and here. And it's after five years. So that becomes my T. So plugging it in. Let me move it, the paper right there. So I do 2,000 parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 365 parentheses. Now, because there's two things in the exponent, I want to put parentheses around the, the exponent. So 365 times 5, and I get, we'll say, 24.42.78. All right, next, part B says semi-annually. So that means twice a year, I think. We're going to go with that. Yeah. Semi-annually means twice a year, I think. Um, so same exact thing. We're still starting with 2,000. I still have 4%, except now it only happens twice a year. Remember that's the same n, because n shows up twice. Um, but it's still going to be five years. So I did this earlier or in a different video. Instead of typing all of that in, you can do second enter, and it brings up everything. And I'm changing the 365 to 2. So I'm just going to kind of scroll back. I'm going to change that to a 2 and delete the 6 and the 5. I'm going to change this to a 2. So now instead of having to type it all in, it sort of saves you, you know, 5 seconds. 2437.99. There we go. Last one. It says, okay, what if it were compounded continuously? So it's a slightly different formula. My P is still 2,000, my rate is still 4%, and my time is still 5 years. So I'm going to plug in here. Let's say So 2,000. Number E is going to be second LN. In the exponent, make sure you put the 4 and the 5 before you close the parentheses. And then I get 244281. And that's uh, the compounding interest stuff.